Game engines are incredibly powerful and are the brain of a game and absolutely essential if you want to be a game developer. Now, for animators specifically, game engines can be tricky because we are visual beasts. We like to actually see what we get, both animation-wise and also how things are connected. So today I'm going to talk about engines and some of the stuff that you have to keep in mind and also what engines would I recommend for animators wanting to actually get their animations in game, study it and creating animation logic at a very basic level. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome. My name is Harvey Newman and I've been a games developer for many years now and uh, I specialize in animation. I have been working in this industry for 20 plus years and I like to share my passion for animation here in this channel and also give you guys some tips on games development, how to get in and also hopefully make your life a little bit easier than mine was because uh, sometimes games can feel very much like a black box. You don't really get what is inside that box. So my idea all along is to have this channel showing you exactly what happens behind the scenes in order to help you a little bit and give you visibility if this is something for you or not. Now, having said all that, uh, if you find value in this video or if you have seen my videos previously, then consider subscribing and definitely give it a like. Uh, it will be highly appreciated. I realize that most people in the channel that are watching this, even though I've been doing this for a while, are not subscribed. So having you guys subscribe not only helps me, but also helps the YouTube algorithm to actually notice this small channel. And then hopefully my content can be in front of more people uh, so they can also be helped and hopefully it becomes a self-fulfilling cycle. Now, let's talk about engines. So there's a few different engines in the market right now, but before we actually go into the variety of engines that exist out there, I need to talk about a little bit of the relationship between animators and engines, right? The relationship between animators and an engine can vary depending on the studio. I've mentioned here in this channel many times that there are studios that are very much hands-off. So the only thing they want you to do when you work in a studio is to animate, create the assets, because the assets, the animation assets are very important. You work with other people, with a team of animators to create as many assets as possible and then you deliver it to a technical animator or a coder for implementation. So you're just working within Maya or the software of choice in order to get those assets done for game. Now there's other studios and I think they are becoming the majority right now where they involve the animators in the implementation of the animation. And I believe that this is the best part of the job and this is the best way for you to be an animator in this industry. Because otherwise it feels very much like you throwing your assets into a black box and then all of a sudden they are in game, but they're not necessarily in game the way you want it to, for them to be. Maybe they are slightly slower, slightly faster, the animation is not as long, etc., etc. So you being involved in the implementation of your animations helps you a ton to make sure that you understand the process and also your animations look as best as possible because you can always go back to Maya and iterate on those animations so you can then implement them later. Now this is the importance of actually you having this relationship with the engine. Now, in order for you to actually know how to implement your animations, you have to do a little bit of implementation practice, right? And this implementation is basically you creating your animations, doesn't matter if they're mocap or hand key, and seeing how the process works going from Maya to then engine, right? So this is very important because there's gonna be a few steps that you're probably not familiar with, especially if you've been animating for a while, especially if you are in Maya for so long, that it's gonna feel very much uh, like a, you know, a barren land. It's gonna feel very much like this is completely new and different, there's buttons everywhere and engines are very powerful. So if you think about Maya being incredibly powerful for not only animators, but also modelers and renderers and all kinds of stuff. Now imagine an engine, the engines are even bigger. So the way it normally works in a very uh, basic top level, uh, it's basically that you have your Maya file, you export it as an FBX because FBX is a format that is a bit more flexible and a bit more universal than the Maya file. You export it as an FBX and then you import it into your engine of choice as an FBX. Once you actually do that, normally you have to actually map it to a skeleton that exists in game. So that skeleton that you have in Maya and the skeleton you have in game match 
and then the skeleton in game knows exactly what data you actually gave it so it can move according to your animations, right? That is the most basic way that I can explain how to implement your animations in game. But that just gives you the animation how it was in Maya in game. The idea here is for you to expand upon your uh, knowledge by creating maybe like a very basic uh, animation logic. So maybe have an idle and have a walk. So you can actually go, now I'm in idle for infinity. And then when I press a button, I go into my walk. That requires logic and logic requires you to actually tinker a, a, a bit more with the engine. Now, this is where I go into what engines are best for you as an animator because there's quite a few out there and there used to be even more like i remember you know um crytek cry engine used to be a big thing then became lumberyard now is more specific still exists but it now belongs to amazon so long story short um but now the two main contenders that you can find in the in the market right now is either unity Unreal. And those two are incredibly powerful engines and you can basically choose any of your liking. However, my personal choice is Unreal. And the reason why is because Unity is a bit more code driven. You have to know how to code quite a lot more and is less visual of an engine. Um, so for indie developers, it's incredibly powerful because you can basically get around issues really easy by coding your way around it. Um, and it's actually very nice and very easy nowadays for you to actually go online, find resources, and then basically get your assets to basically not only move, but act as you wish. Unreal, on the other hand, and this is why I think it's better for us animators, is a way more visual engine because they've been basically doing this thing called Blueprint, in case you guys don't know, that is basically visual scripting. And this is something that you guys need to basically try to understand as best as possible, but is the equivalent of like, instead of having code, code is actually put into little bubbles and those bubbles actually have actions behind them. And the beauty of this is that you can just connect certain bubbles in order to actually get your actions to kind of like be connected and work within each other. So if you have an idle and you have a walk, then you can actually get an action where this is my asset idle and then stay in this state for as long as you can. And then when I press this button, add a little bit of code and then you go into the next bubble, which is gonna be the next state, which is gonna be walk, right? So you can do those things visually and that to me makes way more sense because I can understand that. And especially with the little bubbles that Unreal has where you can see where the, um, where the trigger is coming from and where it's going to end up, those things make your life uh, much easier and makes it easier to understand how the engine is perceiving these animations, right? Um, so definitely, I would recommend Unreal if you're just getting started, if you're just curious about it, if you don't intend to make your own game and you just wanna know about animation logic and how it works behind the scenes at a very basic level, just pick up on Unreal, it's free, and start tinkering with it, watch a lot of tutorials, and make sure that you don't get uh, caught up on all the stuff that Unreal can do for you because one of the things that I've seen a lot is that because you are an animator and because you want to be a gameplay animator, sometimes that wanting to be a gameplay animator um, actually starts to skew more towards like the implementation side of things more than the actual art of animation. Um, and that can be dangerous because um, if you want to be just an animator and just animate, like you learning the principles of animation is way more important than you learning the implementation side of things, right? Unless of course you wanna be a technical animator, which then becomes the opposite uh, because you're going to leave an engine implementing animation, sorting out issues, creating animation logic, all of these things basically leave, leave an engine and then this becomes basically your bread and butter. But if you wanna be a an gameplay animator, those Maya principles, those animation principles, um, are gonna become your bread and butter, right? So I've done a video previously about what it is to actually be a technical animator and how the animation and technical animation works um, in games as a prof at a professional level. So make sure you check out that video if you haven't so far. Um, and I hope this is useful to you. As always, if you're here still with me right now watching this, then 
consider subscribing if this was useful to you. Definitely give it a like if you, if you enjoyed it and comment down below about your engine of preference if you have used it. And if you haven't, then comment down below with questions that you might have about engine implementation, some issues that maybe you have run into, because I know for sure that there's lots of technical animators and technical people that watch these videos. So if I can't answer those questions, they can. So uh, let's do that. That's all I had for you guys. Shout out to my Patreon supporting me every single month. Visit my Patreon page if you haven't so far. And that is it for today. Have a great rest of the week. And until next week, stay well, stay safe. Peace.